Mm. And welcome back to Otaku No Video. As always, thank you very much for joining me. Where today I'm giving you a spoiler-free review, although we will get into a few plot points, of Fractal, a 2011 uh, anime TV series conceived by Hideo Azuma. Now, Azuma wrote a book earlier that was kind of uh, uh, critical of various anime trends. Indeed, Fractal is partly a throwback to 90s style uh, anime storytelling. It's very plot heavy. It's set in a far future with uh, sort of uh, bizarre technology and a lot of explosions at the ending, that kind of a thing. Now, Fractal is set many years in the future where holographic projection technology um, has basically blanketed the world so that nobody really connects anymore. Nobody really has any face to face uh, interactions anymore. They just send out their projections everywhere and they can see those projections and so everyone's kind of isolated in that sense. Now without getting into spoiler territory, um, the main character is a teen boy who is exposed to a, um, a group that is trying to change the current order of the world. And one of the most interesting elements of Fractal is that uh, the main character remains ambivalent about that for much of the show, i.e. Um, he's sort of the lens in which we explore the question of whether this world's setup is good and right. Um, and the show doesn't come down very clearly on one side or the other. The, you know, there are good elements and bad elements of both sides of that story, which the series uh, explores through characters and plot. Now the animation is basically pornographic for animation fans. N no, it's not pornography. I mean that it's just gorgeous all the way through. Even in dialogue scenes, characters make sweeping gestures and there's just almost constant movement in it. It's gorgeous. It feels kind of like a Studio Ghibli film in terms of that um, constant naturalism of movement. Now of course it does not have a Studio Ghibli budget, but it does have a very, very high budget, and you will see just a lot of movement throughout the entire series. The direction is also clean and efficient, always getting across what it needs to. Um, it speeds up when it needs to, it slows down when it needs to, um, but it's, it's crisp, it has a certain um, uh, speed to it. It certainly knows that it doesn't have that many episodes to get across its plot, um, so it moves. The characters are a curious mix between old school and new school archetypes. Uh, the protagonist is a relatively milk toast character, pretty passive, um, while the, well, the two most central girls, I'll put it that way, are a tsundere and a uh, energetic little girl. The rest of the cast evokes tropes of the 80s and 90s. There's the self-confident rebel leader, there's the uh, spunky little girl who's just trying to prove herself all the time, and there's even a shark clone. Now every character speaks with a relatively distinct uh, pattern. Some are quiet, some are cryptic, things along those lines. It's not about accent and it's not about characters being uh, uh, massively different in terms of personality, although sometimes they are. Um, you know, the, the choice of the, the words they use are colored by their personality. Think of like a, a, a standard Gundam series where you do see different patterns to how characters talk, um, but it's nothing ridiculously um, uh, different in that. And this is all set in a beautiful, idyllic environment that actually evokes the United Kingdom more than anywhere else. Uh, indeed, the ending theme song is an old Celtic song. It's gorgeous. Um, as a result, this sets up an interesting contrast between the high-tech, these holographic projections and so forth, some of which are very bizarre, uh, and this idyllic pastoral environment. It also avoids anime visual cliches, so things like sweat drops and pulsing veins you aren't going to see. Um, it might, may happen once or twice in Fractal, I, you know, I may have missed it uh, here and there, but in general it, it retains that Studio Ghibli kind of naturalness to the art, although there are some moments when it gets a little more stylized. Now I watched this with the English dub, which I think fit the characters very well. Um, in particular, I liked Nessa's voice actress. Um, she gave the character um, energy without too much sugar. Now there's a lot more to talk about when it comes to Fractal, and I will release a Digging Deeper about it actually. Um, but I think this covers it at a high level. Fractal combines old school and new school character archetypes uh, in a beautiful uh, set of visuals uh, that explore man's relationship to technology really.